Different people make the same mistakes over and over again. You can learn from the mistakes of others. If you're unsure how to avoid these mistakes, make sure to watch until the end to see the common mistakes in Excel. Common mistakes in Microsoft Excel. Manual versus automatic calculation. Once we drag down a formula, and the result is the same for all, you may want to check your calculation option and make sure to select automatic instead of manual. Large raw data. Excel is an amazing tool and can be bent to most of your will. Many people try using it for things that go beyond what it was designed for. The main misuse is as a database. This kind of use is fine for manageable sized data, but if users have to combine multiple worksheets, then it's likely using Excel as a database is the wrong software and you should consider MS Access or SQL. Printing the whole spreadsheet. It's a pretty common occurrence that a user presses print and only then realizes that the entire worksheet is printing, including any blank rows and columns. Instead, select the data you wish to print, then go to File. print and print selection it will print just the selected data you may also go to page setup to adjust the margins accordingly data validation for forms. Typing free text may seem quicker at the time and Excel does a great job trying to help, especially with autofill, which tries to help you apply consistency. However this leaves it open for different users different typing styles. Instead, use data validation to ensure users select the correct text label, such as status, group name, category and more. Go to Data, Data Validation and Set Criteria that ensures users can only select the correct data. Data validation will not let users enter any other text or value in the cell other than the drop-down options. If you want to learn more about data validation, please check out this video from RP Excellent channel. Like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified if my new videos come out. Feel free to comment below for any suggestions for the next video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next tutorial.